What was your strangest dream, and how did you feel, after waking up from it? I dreamed I was an earthworm once. I was super happy to be wriggling around in the cool dirt. I dreamed I was being attacked by a sheep I have no clue in reality my dog was walking across me trying to get comfortable. I had a dream, where my brother turned to look at me, and his eyes were black he choked me and said dream, and when I woke up I found it was hard to breathe for a little bit. Sometimes my childhood cat shows up in a dream. My dream self says you can't be here then I get to pet her in a lucid dream. I always wake up feeling like it was real and that waking up is fake. I've had dreams kind of similar with family members who were dead. That is actually adorable I want to do that with my cat. UHM. Think of dying light. Then somehow insert a North Korean urban setting. Then Parker. It's all fuzzy, but that was the gist. Confusion ensued. I frequently dream about the rest of the day, when I fall back asleep in the morning. I had a pimple on my calf. When I popped it, a small snake came out. So, logically, I took a large knife and slit open my entire calf. Inside was a pit of writhing snakes. You are Voldemort. Or Lord Orochimaru. He could be Lord Orochimaru, instead of Voldy. I had a dream, that I have two daughters. We were at home when someone entered a house, and took them away from me. I don't have a kid in real life, but I really felt the fear and sadness, even after I woke up. I was like, why are they taking my kids? I had a similar dream, where I had a baby who I loved very much. Within the dream she disappeared, and I was searching for her. I loved her so much, and was so panicked. That feeling stayed with me for days. I mourned for her. The feelings were very real. This morning I had a dream I was at my grandmother's house, and that she was working, and had dyed hair, and was generally not old and sick. I hugged her for for like 5 minutes straight, and woke up only to realize, that she passed years ago. But that's kind of lovely you got to spend some dream time with her. I had to have been in 2nd or 3rd grade at the time. In the dream, I was locked inside the Chicago Botanic Garden specifically the greenhouse area and the only person accompanying me was Cookie Monster. I don't remember what I felt when I woke up from it, but to this day, I'm questioning what on earth that meant. I haven't woken up yet. You're all in my dream, or am first part of your dream. It's constant at the moment that I dream about doing a full day's work, but not in my actual job. Last night I was working in a mine, but have also been a journalist, a DP for a film, a CEO for a major company etc, and it is just like a regular day. I wake up, have breakfast, a shower, get dressed and go to work. I do all the normal things for the job I'm doing, go home sometimes to a wife and family, sometimes not have dinner, and go to bed, and as soon as I fall asleep I wake up here, and always feel absolutely stuffed. Parallel Universes was my first thought TBF. Yeah, but, how, wouldn't everyone experience it, if it was that easy? IDK, man, that was just my first thought, I'm not sure, whether I'd like to have those recurring dreams or not, seems trippy. No, you don't have those dreams. I dreamt that I was a security guard at a bank who was just standing there, while the girl I liked, and a girl I barely knew tried to open a safe. I woke up feeling oddly satisfied, like I was in on the job, and we got away with it. I had a dream recently where someone was talking, and mid-sentence stopped and said, ding. My alarm then went off, and it freaked me out a bit. It was also super weird, because I rarely sleep with an alarm. Your body has an internal clock, that works very well. Subconsciously you know, that you will wake up at that certain time and your body starts the waking up process to prepare for it. Kinda cool. I had a nightmare once where none of my sensory devices had shut off like fear supposed to. I could feel, smell, taste and all that jazz. I don't think I need to go into detail about the actual dream, but I've never woken up with a stronger urge to commit suicide in my life. So, that was fun. I'm glad it hasn't happened since. Legitimate question, is that not normal? All of my senses seem to be intact when I dream. Sometimes that makes it amazing, other times. No it's not normal. We're meant to have sensory deprivation while we dream, all our receptors shut down for a while, or whatever. 
it's actually something a lot more complicated along the lines of that, but that's just the basics I learned in GCSE psychology lol. I didn't know that. I always have all my senses very acute in my dreams. The weirdest, yet most comfortable dream was, before I woke up one morning, I saw the face of a woman aged 35, brown, curled and long hair looking at me smiling, I was the size of a baby and I probably was one in that particular dream, and something or someone had a firm and comfortable grip on the back of my head. The ceiling behind the woman was white, and illuminated with a warm yellow ice light. I felt very safe and happy, and I woke up with the feeling that everything is fine, which held on for a few minutes. Definitely the opposite of the sleep paralysis experiences I had, but oddly enough, it felt just as real. Dreamed I woke up. Several times in the same dream. Was very skeptical putting it lightly, when I actually woke up. Very cool. I only once had a dream within a dream. Very weird indeed, dreaming to wake up. I have hyperrealistic dreams, and so any dreams with minor alterations on reality really freaks me out. I had a dream where I watched myself in third person, sleeping in my living room, on the couch, and I was trying so hard to open my eyes and wake up but I couldn't. I got shot in the head, and woke up and really panicked. I had a dream, where I went to a different dimension to watch Nesca early, and because of the whole problem with being two of yourself in a point in time it was a dimension, where I died I went to my house, and met my parents and well everybody I knew recognized me, and cried when they saw me, I kinda just felt a weird, but not devastating emptiness like, when you watch an intriguing mystery movie end on a cliffhanger. I keep having dreams, where I'm being chased by somebody with a sharp object, but my legs are like noodles and I feel so scared and helpless. I have a reoccurring dream, that I'm falling between cliff faces in Mario 64 I haven't played that game in over 10 years, and I still, have the dream to this day, a message? Who knows. I had a really long one, weird all the way, but the strangest was people cutting open the neck of a horse to put a giant chewing gum underneath the skin. Once I had this dream, where I was the Onsela's son like the guy from the Lorax I didn't really feel any different when I woke up, but the dream was weird enough that I shall remember it like 4 years after I had it 4 years is a long time for me because I'm only 14 lol. Just 2 nights ago I dreamt that my universe was no longer suitable for living and I kept trying to find similar ones. The one I liked the most had my family and they knew my personality, but didn't have my memories, and if I brought up something from my childhood they wouldn't remember it. At the end, my dad died, and turned into plants and rocks, like he was returning to earth where he came from. I had to find another universe to live in, but this new one was no longer suitable for me, but no other universe with my family spoke the same language as me. I woke up feeling very happy, and in place in this universe, and it taught me to appreciate the fights arguments I have with my family, because at least they are my real family. My paternal grandmother has been really ill, and recently had a very invasive surgery. We've all been very worried. On the day of her surgery I had a dream, that my dad had called me, and just sobbed down the phone instead of talking. I realize it was just a manifestation of my worrying. But I felt a mix of horror and uneasiness when I woke up. Not the strangest but last week I dreamt one of my friends died. I was really sad for like 30 seconds when I woke up until I realized he was still alive. Had a dream that I wrecked my motorcycle. I woke up just generally bummed and immediately started thinking about all the things I had to do like calling my insurance and all that. It was really weird, when I realized it was a dream, because the whole thing felt totally real and very practical as opposed to weird and fantastical. I was in school in LA class, an announcement goes KN, and it says the test will now start and get your gas masks on. All of have got them on, and one of my friends didn't have one. Then the U.S. government released some deadly gas. I panicked when my friend didn't have his gas mask on, but he just held his breath. The thing lasted 30 seconds, and went back to normal. The gas was ventilated. Then we presumed class. A dude in a bunny costume with a machete, was chasing me through a place, that looked similar to the building of Outlast. 
When I hit 18 years old, I had a dream where another me who was significantly older approached me and congratulated me for becoming an adult. Before giving me a key that unlocks house number 18 I go check the house and it is filled with DVDs that have memories in them embarrassing memories, achievements, events, etc. I check a couple of them before I find one that is labeled death I play it. And it shows me getting stabbed and shot at the same time in a dark room. I woke up screaming, and it took me 4 days of not sleeping to overcome the fear of having the same dream. Now I can easily visit this house just by thinking about it, and I can see all the memories that I want. I was walking down a staircase with someone I apparently trusted, when they stabbed me in the back. I still remember the hot, but cold feeling running out, and through my body. I remember feeling sad, really sad. When I woke up, I was startled, and kept trying to pat my back to make sure I was okay. During this dream, it was actually my first night in the teen emergency ward, so I'm sure that had a great deal of importance in the dream. Forced to sing a U2 song at gunpoint by a local Ndrangheta capo, after being shanghaied into the audition. I can't sing, and didn't know any U2 songs. Somehow I remembered their song from that Batman movie, and the mobsters were terribly impressed by my incompetent baritone. I was well into the process of moonlighting as a semi-pro lounge singer when I woke up and laughed myself senseless. I dreamt that a friend had gone to another country on a vacation and after a few days came back with a knife stabbed in his chest but he somehow also wasn't stabbed with a knife and it is really weird. After that I took him to the hospital where he died but in the next moment he wasn't dead. It was like I had a few dreams going on and just switching back and forth between them. Really really weird. This is one of the few dreams I remember. Dreamt it a few days ago. It's not a dream, but multiple times, when I try to go to sleep I'll imagine someone stabbing me, and when I open my eyes it feels like something just went through me, feels really weird. I had a dream I used paper towels as a swimsuit, and they dissolved as soon as I got in the pool, hence making me a nudist, making people watching me impressed. They weren't aroused or anything, they were legit impressed at my progressiveness in getting out of societal constraints. When I was around 7 to 8 years old I used to have the same repetitive dream. I was in what appeared to be a indoor play area, and there was a red slide that just led to a small dark room. There was nothing in the room and the only way out was to climb back up the slide. In the dreams, I was unable to climb up the slide, and so I spent many nights in a dream, stuck down a slide. I also vaguely remember there being skeletons of some sort down there with me too. I used to have the same exact dream most nights, stuck in a dark room surrounded by skeletons, unable to get up the slide and escape. When one day, I was finally able to climb back up the slide, and then the dream ended, and I never had a dream again. I dreamed that we went to this really packed Korean restaurant, it took them about 30 minutes to get my food to me. I'm the meantime, all of my family and friends were there, but not at once. We only had a small table, but each time I looked around it the people there changed. Eventually the food arrives, and it looks delicious, but when I touch it, it turns into an empty plate. Truly a horrific nightmare. I had this super realistic dream I could fly simply by either stepping into the air like a staircase, or by letting go of the ground. Not gonna lie I haven't exactly stopped trying to fly since that dream. I was still living with my parents somehow, and they decided to buy a horse. Then they situated that horse right in front of the door, so that it was impossible to get out of the house, because it refused to move. I remember getting increasingly distressed and annoyed, as I had places to be and was late from everything. When I woke up, I just felt amused. I dreamed that I put a bond in a store, and when I almost was out it exploded behind me, and I didn't even luck back just went home, and then I woke up ain't the weird dream was I was at a pool party like a big one with bbq and drinks, and was not in the pool, and out of nowhere a giant turtle fell from the sky and party with us, if I think about it, I only had strange dreams, that I can remember. I dreamt the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles merged with Thanos, and when they snapped, they were one of two remaining Nickelodeon shows, with the other one being Spongebob, but he works with Cartoon Network characters, to stop Teenage Mutant Ninja Thanos. 
I had a dream my family was chasing me with knives and started to stab me over and over. This was after watching American Horror Story recommended, and for the next week I was very skeptical of my family, but what a surprise they haven't stabbed me yet. A while ago I dreamed that for I hook kicked my brother in the belly for reasons unknown, and he went flying 100 meters away in a straight line, almost as if gravity was turned off I really don't know how to feel about this. I have a lot of dreams about my teeth falling out, but I had a horrible dream of me pulling chunks of my tongue out I can still remember the felling of the flesh on my fingers. And any sleep paralysis bouts are always crazy but cool. When I was a teenager I dreamt that my family visited the beach and my sister brought whole alive jellyfish a few nights. After she brought it home I woke up to it digging a hole into my back with its teeth I would call my stepdad in and the jellyfish would disappear my family believed I was self harming it happened night after night during this dream until one day my stepdad saw it with his own eyes, took the jellyfish, turned the stove on and threw it into the flame. I had a dream I was in love, completely, not really just with a person, but with life. My life continued on from, so the time I had the dream, a teenager, but it was just spectacular. I got my dream job, got married, had children. I got to see my children go off to college, before I went off to college. It was heartbreaking to wake up from. One side dreamt I was Julius Caesar, and when my mom woke me up I said you can tell me what to do you unworthy plebeian. Then she told me I wasn't a Bama, why tf would a Bama ever say that? I woke up during my dream, and heard something at the front door. It was a buzzing sound, and after I heard the glass break through I realized a swarm of bees or wasps had broken in the door I'm allergic they were coming straight for my room, but what actually came through my door was a pasty dark haired man I was unable to move, and then unable to breathe, because he was choking me, it seems like it took me an eternity to wake up. I usually wake up as soon as nightmares get scary, when I woke up I realized the dream was caused by a thunderstorm and my subconscious I would not call it sleep paralysis, it was a one time occurrence. Flying saucers carrying velociraptors invaded earth and my neighbor Samuel L. Jackson picked me up in his jeep, so we could go into the city, to get weapons to fight back. I felt excited, but also let down, because I woke up, before we got to the city. Walking through a park I accidentally kick a branch that's fallen from a nearby tree, a stick jams into my foot next to my big toe and gets stuck. I visit the doctors, and get told there's nothing they can do as a new toe is already forming using the sticker's bone, I have to just get used to having a new big toe. Later at home I accidentally kick the coffee table and the new toe snaps off, I wake up in a freaked out state. Now, I can't remember what really happened in this dream, but I remember there was this man with a mask and a cape, that I think I loved. When I woke up, I just kinda sat in my bed, confused about the events of my dream they are always weird, and yet how real it had felt. I remember trying to go back, to sleep to continue the dream with no results. I dreamt I killed two people. My best friend was mad that I did, so, he stopped talking to me. I turned myself in hoping he'd talk to me again. He didn't. I invited him to my last meal. He never came. I woke up and cried. When I was a kid I had a dream that I was with my brother and then Santa came out of nowhere and hit my brother with his sleigh over and over until all of his limbs were completely severed off. Then extra weird part was that my brother was still alive after all of that and lived as a quadriplegic. I don't know if I was fully asleep for this one or not, but it was just after my great grandmother passed away. I was standing in a field with a bunch of other people. They were looking towards the horizon and I didn't know why, so I looked, and I saw a bright white light flash and glow, and then fade. And in that that moment a sense of peace washed over me, and then I woke up. That is something I had never felt before or since. I like to think it was my great grandmother sending a message. I once was dreaming that I was walking down the street right, then I feel something hit my head for a brief moment, before I actually jump out of bed while waking up, woke up seconds later on the floor, I was very confused. I dreamt that someone was choking me by wrapping my hair tightly around my neck. I woke up and decided to have a haircut. I dreamed that me, my wiener dog Cal Drogo, and Burt Reynolds were being chased by the Mexican cartel. We escaped by swimming across a local bay Burt Reynolds was holding a pistol while swimming. How did I feel? That was so cool. 
I dreamed that I was the heir to a throne, but my mom cheated on my dad with a fairy, and my sister's evil boyfriend was blackmailing me, since he knew I was illegitimate. All the while, I was hiding, that I was coming into new fairy based powers, that I could use to defeat him. When I woke up, I was very disappointed, to not get to experience the rest of the story. I dreamed that I have a girlfriend, and I was really, in love with her in it. After I woke up I missed her, and months later now I nearly forgot the dream. I had a dream, that was completely normal until the very end. My girlfriend's sister walked up to me, and cut my throat. Cue the blood pouring, collapsing to the ground. My heartbeat starts to get louder and slower, and slower, and slower. Dream me thinks to myself wow, this is it, at least it's peaceful. Woke up in a straight panic, my heart pounding, just as loudly a beat a lot faster than the dream. Had this dream maybe 6 months ago, and I haven't been able to shake it. Really thought I was dying. Once when I was really depressed from a lack of results job hinting people really don't understand the difference between putting in no effort, and having nothing to show for one's efforts, I dreamt that for failing to find employment the government snapped me up, and put me in a battle royale blood sport, that was televised nationwide. It was made clear many times in the dream earn a living, or earn enough ratings to live. Since 5th grade of elementary school I have regular prophetic dreams from time to time. It's a strange feeling to find out during the day I'm always finding out. Paracynical and Belle Delphine actually playing Minecraft. I have absolutely no idea how I'd run this, but I just did. I was stuck behind my house and the tunnels were kind of closing somehow, and then clowns on four feet came to me, and wanted me to lick their feet. Ike. A few years ago, I had a really weird dream, where I bought a theater, and on the stage, was a massive tree and an inflatable slide. All the people from my class at school were going down the slide. I walked over to the tree and inside it was a roller coaster that spiraled upwards. I got on the roller coaster and inside it were loads of characters from Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. When I got to the top, I was a caterpillar and I made a cocoon and turned into a butterfly. When I woke up I thought, that was weird, it's a shame I had to wake up. When I was in second grade, I had a dream that me and my crush were going down a slide. On the slide, there was a split off, and she went down the right side and I went down the left. I was sad, because I thought it meant I would never see her again. The next day, my parents told me I was switching schools 15 years later, I still have not seen her. I just remembered this dream like a week ago and it kind of made me sad to think about it. I was in a house, that was like the Umbrella Academy house building thing from the show plus my house, and I had the ability, to open any door or lock I touched. I was running from something, that I couldn't see, and I was freaking out. I ran into a closet in my room, which doesn't actually exist at all, and was trying to lock the door, but whenever I tried to lock it the door instantly unlocked, and then I was woken up. That was terrifying. I can't remember what happened, only that I was with a guy in this dream, and I still remember, when I woke up I was so happy for a split second, and then when it hit me, that it was a dream, I experienced sadness like I hadn't in such a long time. Honestly this was all in seconds, but when I realized it was a dream, I felt like it being killed or pulled away from life itself. Wish I could remember what the dream was though. I guess it's just my subconscious longing for a relationship lol, but sadly I don't think that's on in my destiny. A couple years ago I dreamt Mad Smith as the 11th doctor kissed me. It was amazing, and I woke up, and got out of bed easily, and wide awake for the first and only time in my life. My dream happened like this, so I fall into a cave and it's a super small cave with no exit. I look in front of me, and there's some ice blocking me from another side of a cave. I look through to see Jason for he's breaking through the ice to get to me, and once when he has a chance of hitting me I wake up. A couple weeks ago I had a dream I was on a farm. There was a pogo stick chilling next to this fence, so I picked it up, and started to bounce. I bounced for what seemed like forever. I woke up with the biggest smile on my face. I haven't pogo sticked in years, and I still got it. What a right 10, 10 would have that dream again. I have a recurring nightmare, where I'm paralyzed on the ground with my arms up. Then, dogs would lick my armpits this is the most frequent nightmare, but many of my other nightmares have similar themes temporary paralysis and tickle torture. I had a series of dreams in college, where there were two of me, 
I was somehow viewing the dream from both me's perspectives, which made for some very strange experiences, when my eyes met my own. I'd wake up very introspective existential. I think it was my brain trying to process leaving my fundamentalist Christian home, and trying to figure out how to become my own person. I had a dream I was putting my cat in a jug and I could hear her meow. When I woke up, I was sitting up in my bed grabbing my cat by the tail, and she was meowing at me. I instantly let her go. I had a dream that felt so real, like nothing was out of the ordinary at all was stuff that could happen in the real world, and after waking up I had trouble remembering if it had actually happened. I spent the next few days trying to figure it out, and then I remembered it was a dream. This has happened to me a few times, but sometimes they take very long for me to figure out, other times I can do it within seconds. I got food poisoning from McDonald's back around 06. Over the next 10 years, I would have dreams where I would be with someone, and they would buy us McDonald's for lunch. Since they were paying I felt bad saying no, but after eating I would get sick again. I'd wake up with bad stomach pains. I went almost 5 years without one, and then it popped up again last month. I grew up in a town with a harbor. Haven't lived there in 20 years. A few months ago, I had some weird dream that I was there and needed to get from one side of the harbor to the other side of town. The only option was a small public transit submarine. So, that was how I went. Remember not one other thing from the dream, and I have absolutely no clue what it meant. Junjun sleuths please feel free to offer your theories. I had a dream where I was a girl fighting a fat dude from McDonald's in an attic from Star Wars, and I killed him with a finger gun gesture like TF to heavy. Also my crush was demonically worshipping Luigi from the Super Mario franchise in his basement, or as he called him our Dark Lord and Savior Luke. Sometimes when I'm not quite asleep, my brain will kind of predict the future. That is, I will be thinking of someone being angry and someone in my house will yell hey. I once had a dream that I just had an absolutely fantastic, yet completely normal day. Nothing was weird, it was just a fun day where everything went right. It felt like a full day had passed too. I woke up to one of the worst days of the year. I can't remember exactly what was so terrible about it, but I do remember being eager to forget it. So, I guess that worked out. I was at a restaurant where the girl and a poor kid came to ask for money. We gave him, and after a while the same kid, comes back laughing asking for more. He tried to put his hands in our pockets. Somehow we found out that he had a lot of money on him, and was just playing with us. Suddenly comes the owner of the restaurant with a gun in his hand. He shoots somebody I think the kid, and then I wake up from the gunshot I heard in my dream, my ears were ringing for real, and I was freaked out, terrified. I wrote the dream down, and I couldn't sleep for the next hour. It was 5 in the morning. I still don't get why I was so freaked out. Right after Trump was inaugurated, I had a dream that I was him, but I couldn't find my nice suit, and also I didn't have a speech prepared. Eventually I ran to my neighbor's house, and the real Donald Trump was there, except that he was a bear and he ate me. I had a dream that I had woken up to the sounds of sirens, and I ran outside, and I felt the intense heat of a nuclear bomb, and then I woke up, and I was all sweaty it was the scariest most intense dream I've ever had, and I couldn't rub it off my head for months that was scary. I dreamt that I had angel wings and could fly. One time I flew up to 100 feet, and then ascended past the clouds. It was amazing. Only thing is now, any time people or entities chase me, I can't fly past 10 feet off the ground. It's horribly scary. They almost always get me.